Hello students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hopeflor. You know me as Mr. H. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2016. And this is Good Morning Mammoth Heights. All right, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, let's continue what we have on our lunch menu for today. On this Friday, you get to choose between crispy chicken biscuit, hot dog, and fries. As we move on to our tools for citizenship and life, we're going to look at a word today that's called initiative. Initiative. So what does it mean for a student to show initiative here on our campus at Mammoth Heights Elementary? Well, a student who shows initiative will ask for extra help to understand the lesson and to learn new skills. A student who shows initiative will contribute suggestions on small group projects and they'll volunteer to do tasks that are important to be done, but sometimes they're just not that interesting to do. They do it anyway. So I hope you continue to practice your initiative here at Mammoth Heights today and every day of the school year and, of course, throughout the rest of your life. Well, let's talk about our birthday celebrations for today. Happy birthday to Sophia O'Donnell. Sebastian Rodriguez, and Mr. H. I don't want to make a big deal about my birthday, but it's true. It's my birthday today, but I don't want to make a big deal about it at all. Please don't make a big deal about it. Actually, get these bubbles down. Get these bubbles down. No big deal. All right. I have weekend birthdays to announce as well. Happy birthday this weekend to Jacob Brown, Gavin Carter, Felicity DeWitt, Allie Smith, Olivia Metheny, and our very own fourth grade teacher, happy birthday, Miss Nelson. All right, let's talk. Oh, don't forget, come on down to the office at this time and get your happy birthday pencil. I'm going to give myself a pencil. All right. Let's talk about our announcements for today. Orchestra Monday morning. Continue to bring in your school supplies for our Belize fundraising drive all the way through September 30. I have some fun run information. Here we go. You guys have been waiting for this information. I do have some fun run information. As a school... We ran 17,359 laps, which is the same as everybody running 1,085 miles. 1,085 miles we ran on Tuesday. We had a per student average. That means if I chose an average student, they probably ran about 29 miles. That's over one and a half miles. Good job, everybody. The class that ran the most laps and earns the extra recess is in third grade with an average of almost 34 laps. Congratulations. Miss Kelson's class! Extra recess for third graders in Miss Kelson's class. Now, be sure to have that mascot is now in Mrs. Coyle because Mrs. Coyle's class had the most spirit. Congratulations, we're gonna have more information on how much money we raised for our runs for fun, but we do have that information for you. Congratulations, Miss Kelson's class, the most laps, and to Mrs. Coyle's class, they got the stuffed tiger as their mascot because they had the most school spirit. As I walked around school yesterday, I just saw a lot of great work happening. I must say, I am just really proud of our teachers and students who are working so hard each and every day and making learning fun. And I visited Mrs. Parkinson's class 
and I met a first grader. Her name is Amanda Sultan. And she said, Mr. H, will you please read my book? And I said, I would love to. And she gave me her book to read, and I read it, and I was just so impressed with the work she did. I said, I have to read this on the morning show. Can I please read this on the morning show? And she said, absolutely. So Amanda Sultan in Miss Parkinson's class, she wrote the book, and it is titled, If You Give a Panda Bamboo. Those of you who have read the books, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, you kind of know um, how the plot and how that story develops. And Amanda did such a great job. I wanted to read her story to everybody at Mammoth Heights. If you give a panda bamboo. If you give a panda bamboo, she will eat it all up. The panda will probably want to drink a soda to go with it. She will want a lot of soda. Then she will probably want to race down the hole. She will probably win. After all the racing, she will get tired. She will sleep in your bed, so you will have to make sure your bed is comfy for her. She will get mad if you don't. When she wakes up, she will want to play. After all the playing, she will want a soda. Chances are, she will want bamboo to go with it. Thanks so much for sharing this book with me, Amanda, and thank you for allowing me to share it with the whole school. I'm really proud of the work you did, and if anybody has something that they're working really hard, they want to showcase on Good Morning Mammoth Heights, please let your teacher know, and we will do whatever we can to showcase all the hard work that's happening here at Mammoth Heights. Well, that concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be a positive ambassador for Mammoth Heights. Exhibit energy in all your work and demonstrate perseverance in your learning every day. Have a great Friday. If I don't see you around, but I hope I do, have a great weekend.